Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review for SH Figuarts Gavin Type G, aka Chaku from Power Rangers Beast Morphers Season 2. They got me to pick up a Metal Hero figure that isn't the Beetleborgs, because this guy, who is Gavin Type G, actually was appeared and adapted in Beast Morphers as the Chaku character, so I wanted it for my Beast Morphers display. So it's actually a pretty solid figure, and this is the second release. There was also a first release, this was kind of the second refresh release, but not one of the fancy, like, renewal Suki from True Blood Seho figures or whatever you call them. Like, it's just like the middle ground one, but it's pretty solid. So let's talk about the accessories real quick. As you can see, right now he's holding just his normal sword. He's got that one. Ah, uh, thank you. But then he's also got a couple other options. Right here you have the sort of lit up about to attack sword, and then you have the full on effect part attack sword. And it's not like some of the other ones I've seen before where it's like this part and you attach it to the tip of the sword. It's actually just one full different sword. You have a couple different hand choices, you have like closed fists, you have holding the weapon fists, some sort of general open sort of martial arts fists, uh, instant transmission hand, like you know like this, and then the one he's got on here is kind of like a karate chop, sort of like putting his hand over the blade hand. And then you do have one alternate helmet which is pretty cool which has sort of a more lit up version of the eyes for when he does his finisher, which looks really nice. And as for the figure itself, I think it's very well done. It's a very nice figure art. It doesn't have any die cast metal like old school figure arts, and it does feel very light and kind of cheap, which is kind of unfortunate. Again, that's kind of a personal nitpick, but it's just, with these being such expensive figures, they always feel so light. But sculpt-wise, even though it's not one of the more high-end renewal ones, I think they do a pretty good job on the proportions. The sort of shiny metal look looks really nice on it with the chrome finish I think that looks really cool and it can kind of depend on how it looks in the show whether it's shiny or not I think like the US suit wasn't as shiny but I think it makes it stand out a lot more and looks good and like all the details in there are really well done this looks like a little bit of a sticker though which looks kind of cheap but I think it contrasts off of it nicely and overall makes for a really cool looking figure that stands out I don't think any of the proportions are too off like some of the older figure arts like the non renewal version ones sometimes will have heads that are a little bit skinny for the body, but I don't think this one's too bad at all. Uh, the only problem I have, which has nothing to do with the figure, but I never liked this about the suit design, which looks, in my opinion, even more awkward in the show. Hi guys, you can see me there. Uh, is that it doesn't have pants here, like you don't have metal plates, which is probably something to do with the function, but it looks like he forgot to put his pants on, so that's always been kind of awkward to me. Articulation-wise, par for the court's figure art stuff. Ball joint right here, swiveling, double elbow joint. You got your swiveling at your wrists. Nice ball joint here at the leg double knee joint, you have a nice ball joint at the foot, got that toe action joint, the chest and waist articulation here, and then head and neck articulation, so if you're familiar with figure arts, it's very well rounded, definitely a step above uh, the lightning collection a little bit. Uh, no loose joints, this guy's very fluid too, which is really nice, sometimes you'll have certain joints that stick a little bit um, around the feet and stuff like that, and with the lightning collection recently, which is obviously a different line, I'll have really sticky joints, and none of them feel loose, but they feel very fluid to move, there's not too many problems with posing where you're left with this gap here that you can't fix it, which is nice. It definitely feels like it could be one of those that might become loose in the future because it's so fluid, but for the most part I just like that it's easy to pose and it looks good and all that jazz, and so there's not really any huge problems with it. And then there's the regular sword right there, which all these are pretty well detailed. It's pretty hard to mess up because they either have the silver here or the light blue for the attack version, and then like the gold here with the details and it looks pretty solid there. So it's over Overall, pretty cool and I like the accessories and the ability to have the effect part and all that stuff it pretty much comes with exactly what you would want for it and you're not really wanting for anything which is nice and I think it's overall a very nice figure it's not a figure art I'm like jumping out of my seat over like oh my god you have to have it it doesn't feel like as one of those purchases of old figure arts where it feels like oh my god this is really high quality figure that I just spent my money on but I think it looks really nice um, if you're a fan of Gavin type G or the suit I think you'll be happy with it and I think if you kind of liked his character in Beast Morphers and you want a figure for it, I think it'll look nice with it. Just kind of find a good price. Like, that's good advice for literally anything, whether I recommend it or not, to find a good price. But I just don't feel this guy's worth too high of a price. I think I found him on Mandarake for roughly, I think it was just under 50, and I feel like that was even a little too much for me in some ways. But just find the best price possible if you want it. But I think if you're the type of person that wants to complete a Power Rangers collection for Beast Morphers type stuff, this could be really 
really cool to have for the display as I think it's kind of unique that he was in there. And just to show you real quick for a comparison how he looks next to some of those types, here he is next to the Red Buster figure art. He's a little bit taller there, but that's just because I have this guy crouching a little bit, but it does fit in there. And then right here is a blue lightning figure. So he is a little bit smaller, but if you stand him upright, it's not that huge of a deal. Like it fits in fairly well. Red Buster is going to be a little bit taller. The lightning figure will be a little bit taller. But I think for the most part, so long as you have them posed right, it's not a huge deal. And so that's kind of cool just to be able to fit those in with it. Like the figure arts here and with the lightning, I don't think it stands out all that much. But overall, that's about it for this one, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.